about the beginning of the invasion of the Russian Federation on February 24, 2022, when critical circumstances arose and required urgent evacuation measures, in particular in panel institutions of the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions. However, the evacuation did not take place and was not proper, properly carried out, which led to the very serious consequences for both the prisoners and the state. Let me tell you a little about these consequences. This is primarily a threat to the life and health of prisoners. For example, penal institutions under occupation have become objects of increased danger. For example, we received reports of physical violence against prisoners in the Hola Pristan Penal Colony and other institutions such as Mariupol Remand Prison, Kherson Remand Prison. From there, we even received reports about the murders of the prisoners. We should also mention the former Ato soldiers, who after completing their service came into conflict with the law and served sentences or were under investigation in penitentiary institutions of the Kherson region. These individuals became one of the most vulnerable categories of prisoners, especially during the occupation. Many of them were brutally treated, which sometimes, unfortunately, led to death. There are also known cases when the Russian Federation, which occupied the Kherson region, placed it, its positions near institutions, that is, used prisoners as human shields. They used force, coercion and intimidation. These are all testimonies given to us by prisoners who return from these institutions after their release. So we can say that more than 3,000 people from 11 penal institutions were under the occupier's control. This led to the loss of state control over these population categories.